Hey guys, so today we're doing a two-parter video. It's the original engine series, but we're doing Boko this time. I know I haven't done the, like I haven't done the second one yet, but when I saw one about Boko, I could not resist. I had to do this one. It's in two parts, so I figured let's do it. If you want to see me react to episode two of this series, let me know in the comments. But I had to do Boko because Boko is one of my favorite diesels. So let's get started, shall we? This is part one. So let's get a moving. I do not know Thomas and Friends of the music. So let's go. Uh, what about Kobo? That is your wheel configuration. Kobo. That sounds a bit awkward. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. How about Boko? That sounds better. I like it. And Boko it shall be. Blech. What a filthy object. I know, but I guess that's why we're here. We are the replacement. Exactly. My diesels are revolutionary. Boko is mean! I'm already not liking this. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't, Hello, D5702. No. You don't have to say that anymore. I have a new nickname, Boko. Boko? What kind of a stupid name is that? I reckon he got that name from his wheel arrangement. And who are you supposed to be? My name's Jerry. Nice to meet you. Yes, very nice considering we might replace you. <laughs> replace me? What on earth are you talking about? My dear engine, there's a reason why everyone is raving about us diesels right now. Instead of waiting for ages for steam to build up, all we need is fuel and then a turn of a key and we're off. No coal, no water, no fuss. I'll tell you that we steam engines don't fuss at all. We do our work properly. You two may be all hip and modern, but I bet that they will soon find a major flaw in you that they didn't see during production. Pa, what nonsense! Don't listen to him. Us class 08 have been here at least half a decade, yet so far we've had no major problems. Oh, I've heard about all you guys. You're multiplying like rabbits, popping up everywhere and replacing the tank engines. I say good riddance. I don't like... I don't like this! I don't like this! Boko is being so mean! I'm not. So go. Come on, get moving. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Ugh. What happened? You must have overheated. Seriously? I've only been working for six days. Don't just stand there. Get rid of the smoke and get us another engine. My word. This is embarrassing. I try not to do it again. Doesn't make you look so good. It wasn't my fault. Probably the fuel. Oh well. We mustn't keep the passengers waiting. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Great to see another one of my type. Yeah, but not at the works, mate. Let me guess, you overheated. Why, yes. Did that happen to you? It happened to me and another Class 28 as well. Yeah. This isn't good news at all. Oh, no. Do you think there's a problem with us that they didn't catch? Maybe. But hopefully there's a quick fix. Thank goodness you're back. Did they fix you? Yes. Apparently it's happening to other Class 28s as well. Gee, I told you. <laughs> oh, rubbish. It's I'm sorry, I had to agree with the steam engine. Like he said, like... You heard me said. I'm like, he's like, see, I told you. Oh, I do not like this Boko right now. Boko is supposed to be nice. He's the nice diesel. Probably just a minor fault. They'll just bring all the diesels back to the workshop and fix it, and then we'll be fine. I hope so. Three years, three years later. <laughs> I had to. I just had to. Hello. What's happened? You're not going to believe it, but my cab windows fell out. Fell out? Yes. Apparently I'm not the first Metrovic to have this problem. About that, um, I've just heard some news. Apparently your Metrovics are going to be handed back to our manufacturer to get revamped. Revamped? Yes. 
Supposedly, they're going to fix our problems. Well, that's good news. They can yeah. fix us once and for all. All right, you lot, listen up. We finished all the Class 28 revamps. Hooray! All right, all right. However, on orders of British Rail, oh, no. all Metrovics are now to be based at Barrow and Furness for local passenger and freight trains. What? What about our original homes? Are we wind back there? Well, to put it frankly, you're not. They've replaced us, haven't they? They've. Well, uh, to put it frankly, yes. Oh, rubbish! 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 But I just heard someone say that the final steam engine in Britain was built a year or two ago. In a few years, there will be no more steam at all. Now, I have to go get my local train ready. Who's so mean? I know I keep saying that a lot, but I'm saying it. He's mean. Boy, <laughs> that's a loud engine. It could use a muffler. Right, well, never had this problem with steam engines. Now go boil your head. Uh oh, not again. Ah, my engine's overheating. Ah! Holy smoke! Oh my Is god! Fire? What happened? Get help! Oh, he's on fire! He's on fire! He's on fire! Look, oh this is really bad. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Rubbish! They'll fix you up! That's what I told my friend. It was the last thing I ever said to him. Tell me he's not going to be scrapped. Hello, Boko. I asked them about D5703. Yeah. And? How is he? Boko, his engine was very burnt up. I'm oh, sorry, no. but they decided to scrap him. Oh, no. What? No! How could they do that? It was just too expensive to repair him. Rubbish! Absolute rubbish! It wasn't too expensive! Oh, they just didn't care! They think we're all useless now! Calm down, Boko. I will not calm down! Curse British Rail and their oppressive agenda! I will not stand for it! Oh, Boko! I'm brother, D5703. He was a charming and hard-working engine. He did not go in vain. He did die in vain. All he wanted was to be really useful, and they just threw him away. In fact, all we Metrovics want to do is be really useful, but we were cursed with bad engines. Well, you're right about that. But why us? Why did it have to be us? There are things in life that we can't control. It's sad, but it's true. However, what we can control is what we do with what's given to us. In a perfect world, people would help us rather than just cast us aside. But who knows? Someone who looks beyond our engine problems may come along and we'll see what really matters. Our determination. I hope so. By the way, I forgot. What's your number? D5705. But the nickname of Vicar. Oh yes, I remember now. But I tell you, the writing is on the wall for us. That's Gordon! Wait, are we now going to find out how we got to Sodor? All right, so that's for one time. I think it now. We're getting to the point where he goes to Sodor. So let's see what happens. All right, guys. I skipped a bit of the, like, previous stuff because we know what happened. We just watched what happened. So let's go. Oh, I'm going to skip the intro because I don't want to copyright. Clean! Here we go. Here we go. Wait. Oh, my God. Vulcan? It's you! Oh, I can't tell you how glad I am to see you! Huh. I can't say the same for myself. What? Oh, don't be silly, Balco. You know what? Your class is just pathetic. I thought you guys were going to be the pride of the line, but you disappointed us. Well, that wasn't my fault. And it wasn't my brother's either when he was scrapped. Well, what can I say? 
that's what happens to faulty engines, and he unfortunately happened to be a faulty engine. How dare you! I don't understand. I thought we were friends, Vulcan. We used to be, but then you Metrovix proved to be a laughingstock, and I most understandably do not want anything to do with failed engines. Good day. Why, you rotten backstabbing, betraying son of a... Ignore him, Vulcan. Nah. Don't waste your time. Did they really just make him swear but with a horn? Really? Really? You don't understand, Vicar. He was my friend. A friend would have you back regardless of how broken you were. He only wanted to be associated with pure engines. As soon as he saw your problems, he cast you aside. Yeah. That's not a friend. Much. That's but not I a friend. I haven't got any friends left. Maybe not friends, but you have us. It's no use anymore. I'm going to fail regardless. Rubbish. I'll tell you that your brother would not want you to think like that. He'd want you to push on. He would. All right. He would. We've got a special goods train that needs to be taken to Brendam on the island of Sodor. Oh, oh. oh. Sodor. 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 Huh. What's so bad about Sodor? Oh, oh. It's an island full of steam engines, and they're not going anywhere soon. All right, all right. Now, do I have any volunteers? Um, I guess I'll do it, sir. Splendid. Well, these both don't cook it. So where is this gonna go, though? Like, I'm, I'm liking it, but... Another one? Good grief. What's the fat controller thinking? What lovely engines. My word, this is an awful hill. I wonder how many engines get stuck here. Hang on a second, guys. Just give you a quick sec. Sorry, guys. Just something came up. Anyways, let's continue. At least he likes Solor. Like, that's what I have to say. Uh-oh. Brakes, driver! Hello. Sorry about this. Edward here broke Edward! down. Edward! We'll be late. We've got to favorite. catch our ferry. We'll arrange for a backup engine, but this railway is so busy that it might take a while. He's right. So many engines are getting repairs. Well then, why doesn't the diesel do it then? We have to take this freight train to the docks. In a perfect world, people would help us rather than just cast us aside. Where are you headed? Brendam Dock Station. Some of the passengers need to get on a ferry. Hey driver, I think we could push them and pull the freight train. Aww. We're going to the docks as well. Are you sure? That seems like quite a lot of work. I think I can do it. We'll get the goods delivered, plus spare the passengers a long wait or a missed boat. That would be marvellous. All right, then. Let's go for it. That's nice of Boko. So I'm guessing after he lost his I brother... I must say, I'm a little surprised. He changed. No diesel has ever helped me before. Well, then, this will be your lucky day. I like Edward, but my number one favorite is Emily! My god! I didn't think this would be so heavy! I hope he doesn't overheat. I can't, I can't, I can't keep up with it. Oh, I hate when my nose gets so itchy. Turn it, I messed it up again. Hmm, interesting. That's a mainland diesel. I've called for Donald to come and take you to the works. Who is that diesel that helps you? I don't know, sir, but he's definitely not like other diesels I've met. Hello, what's your name? Well, they call me Boko. Thank you, Boko, for getting the passengers to the station. You're a very useful diesel. Thank you, sir. I must admit, I don't hear people call me that too often. Phew! Well, how many of that was hard work. Wait, how did he end up a Sodor diesel then? I hope I can, I can make it home. Oh. You've done really well. You've earned a jolly good rest. Mm. Oh dear, <laughs> not this hill again. Give it your best effort, buddy. 
This is it. I'm done for. Oh, rubbish. You're not spewing fire yeah. like D5703 was. Yeah. This is probably an easy fix. It may be, but it depends if the manager wants me to be fixed. That's true. Donald! Or is that Doug Well, well, well. No, Another I think it's Donald. diesel broken down. And this one doesn't even live on the island. Ha! Huh? That's what no, you that's get Douglas. from me wow, in such tables. Oi! This engine helped rescue a passenger train while pulling a goods train as well. This diesel has worked his ass off today, so you should show <laughs> him some respect. Leave it, driver. This engine is only natural to assume that. We diesels have a pretty bad reputation amongst steamers. Yeah. Just take me back to Barrow, Mr. Steamer. The way he acted with other diesels, like, he's not wrong. Like, he, in the first part, he, he was... Acting like the other diesel, saying how they were the future of the railway, how steam is no longer to be around. I'm sorry that he said this. Well, actually, I'm supposed to take you to Crovitz Gate Works. Our okay. controllers agreed to have you repair there, and I'll probably send you home. Oh, really? Wow. Wow, that's nice of him. What? Henry! My third favorite. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hey, Henry, this is the diesel that helped me in the passengers today. Really? Huh. Yes, that's me. You know, I, I never got the chance to thank you. No foreign diesel has ever been so kind to me. Most just think I'm an old, useless contraption. Believe me, I'm not old, but I know very well what it's like to be useless. I know that feeling, too. I was a hybrid of several engines when I was first built, that's and it was right, very difficult to build up steam. I failed many, many times, and I was in despair. But the controller never gave up on me, and eventually gave me a rebuild into a much better engine. I wish our controller was Ooh. like that. All yeah, he yeah, cares I'm about is modernization. Our class is barely half a decade old, yet I assure you we're going for the scrap- Just give me a quick sec, everybody. Something's come up again. All right, guys, it's been dealt with. Let's continue. Peep. My brother already went there. Yeah. yeah. My brothers have been scrapped, too. Well, I'm the right. only one left. Hold on a second. You're a Class 28, aren't you? My driver hey, reads train gosh. magazines, and he read all about the troubles your type had. And honestly, I can only sympathize with you greatly based on my own experience. You shouldn't. I used to be prejudiced towards steam engines. I was just like all the other horrid diesels. Pretty much. I'm clearly not a true engine. The only reason I changed my views on them was because I realized what it was like to be considered inferior. It's not your fault. You were just brought up that way. Pretty much. But you know what the wonderful thing is? Through your hardships and suffering, you were formed. That's what makes you different from all those horrible diesels. Only a true engine would help someone who many consider to be an inferior, <laughs> like me. True. Exactly. Hey. Now then, Boko. We better get you fixed up. I will warn you, sir. The repairs may not be permanent. My class is known for... Known for trouble? I know, my dear engine. You're a class 28, and it saddens me to hear your history. Yes, I don't think anything will be able to fix us at this point. Ah, but you're in the hands of Sir Topham Hat, and he can just about fix anything. Pretty much. What you need is to have an engine replacement and overhaul, and you'll be as good as new. An engine replacement? Okay. Sir, you don't have to do that. That will be quite an effort and an expense. Are you sure you won't do that for someone who isn't even your engine? Well, as a matter of fact, we are in need of a diesel to help run the Brendan branch line. I've spoken to your controller, and we've agreed to negotiate about buying you to work there. Are you serious? What? Of course, if that's okay with you. Sir, that would be an honor. I can't thank you enough. You are the best man I have ever met. But hold on a second. Will the other engines like me? I'll say that I've met quite a few that didn't seem too pleased. They're not as judgmental as you think. Brilliant. You'll find that once you've shown yourself, they will consider you just as valuable as any of them. You must understand, of course, that we have had bad experiences with well, diesels, obviously. so that's why they're a bit cautious. But you will open their eyes quite significantly. 
Show them what a true diesel is. And so it was arranged. I was given an overhaul and felt like a new engine. Not long after I arrived, I had quite an encounter with two little engines that almost drove me bonkers. However, Edward and I soon managed to get a grip on them. And now we're all great friends. Of course. Some of the engines were a little skeptical to my arrival. Of course. Especially James and the Scottish twins. Mm -hmm. But eventually they saw that I was not part of those negative stereotypes. I befriended Gordon in such an amusing way. He still thinks I saved his life when I told Bill and Ben to stop tormenting him. Yeah. I still don't know if he yeah. knows that the twins were only teasing. He helped me. Like, Unfortunately, starting in 1967, all my remaining brothers were scrapped. All except one, Vicar. Oh! His preservation was Ray! actually unintentional, but even though all of them and D5703 may not be here physically, their spirits live on. Oh, that's awesome! And I know regardless of what happens, my Sodor friends will always have my back. We are all here on the Fact Controllers Railway. We all stick up for each other and help those in times of need. Being on this railway made me realize quite a bit. I used to think being really useful just meant how reliable your engine ran or how fast you went, but it's not. Being really useful and reliable means being there for others and doing the best you can with what you're showing given. Different memories. It's not about relying on someone to be there on time or to be free of problems. It's about relying on someone to lend a hand regardless of your problems. I'm proud to be an engine of Sonor and we team together to help those in need on this magnificent railway. Oh, look at that! There's Emily! awesome that was a really good episode it, like i didn't expect boko to be so mean at the beginning but it just goes to show you know what like this was a good episode i'll see you on the next video everybody this is kbr 101 signing out adios everybody